simple machines. At the dawn of civilization, early man used hands to move objects from one place to another. They used their teeth to cut things. With passing time, they started using stones to make their work easier. They also found out ways to sharpen the stones to use them as knives. Gradually, the man searched for different ways to make their work easy. What are the machines? A machine is any device which works to make our task easier. Machine helps us to apply force in such a way that it gets magnified. Let us take an example to understand this. When the car mechanic has to change the tire, he uses jack to lift the vehicle. This makes his work easier. He does not need to lift the car manually to change the tire. Jack is an example of a machine. Hence, the advantage of using machine is it makes our task easier as we have to apply less force. It helps us do our task faster. It saves time and energy. Simple Machines Simple machines have few or no moving parts to them. Simple machines are used to make our task easier. They help us to move objects closer, apart or raise them to different levels by increasing the force or changing the direction of force. There are six simple machines devised by human, levers, wheel and axle, pulleys, inclined planes, screws and wedges. Let us learn about them. Levers At the construction site, workers use lever to lift heavy stones. It is easier to use lever to do this task than manually lifting the stones with hand. A lever is a rod which has three points, fulcrum, effort, load. Fulcrum is the place on the rod where it gives support to the lever. Effort is the point on the ro rod where force is applied by us. Load is the object which needs to be moved. The closer the object is to the fulcrum, easier it is to move. We can see levers all around us. For example, the door handles, bottle openers and crowbars are examples of levers. There are three different types of levers depending on the position of the fulcrum, load and lever. First class lever. When the fulcrum is between the load and the effort, it is called first class lever. Look at the picture of a boy trying to move a large rock to the pole. Here, the rock is the load, the point in the small stone where the lever is resting is the fulcrum and the other end of the lever where force is being used is the effort. Some other examples of first class lever are a pair of scissors and a claw hammer. Second class lever. When the load is in the middle, fulcrum is at one end and effort at the other end. It is called a second class lever. A wheelbarrow is an example of a second class lever. The weight is the load, the axle of the wheel is a fulcrum and the handles are the effort. A nutcracker is another example of the second class lever. Third class lever. When the effort is in the middle and load and fulcrum are at the two ends, it is called a third class lever. A broom, a pair of tongs, a tweezer and using a cricket bat or a hockey stick to hit a ball are examples of third class lever. Wheels and axle. The wheel is considered one of the most important invention. A coolie at the station uses cart to carry the load. The cart has wheels. The cart has made his work easy. Wheels are an example of a simple machine. Wheels are supported by axle. An axle is a rod or pole centered in the wheel that allows the wheel to turn around it. Another example of wheel and axle that is used in our daily lives is the fan. 
The fan has a center portion, wheel, which is attached to a rod axle. The blades are attached to the center portion. So when the center portion rotates, the blades of the fan also move. Have you seen a merry-go-round and a giant wheel? They are also an example of a wheel and an axle. Pulley Pulleys are used in window blinds to move them up and down. They are also used in ships and boats to raise or lower the sails. A lady uses a pulley to draw water from well. It is easier for her to do so it using the pulley. The pulley is a version of wheel and axle, but the pulley has a groove in it. A rope or belt moves in the groove. If you note, the pulley changes the direction of the force applied. If you simply try to pull out a bucket of water from the well, you will have to pull the rope and lift the bucket in a vertical direction. However, if there is a pulley, you can pull down the rope using body weight and the bucket will come up easily. Inclined Plane At many places, you must have seen a ramp or slope. It is easier to move luggage on the slope. So an inclined plane is used to move something from one level to another. One end of an inclined plane is higher than the other end. You must also have seen wheelchair ramps at hospitals and other public places. These are also inclined planes. Some men load a lorry with heavy objects using inclined plane. Wedge A woodcutter uses wedge to split the log. A wedge is a simple machine made up of two inclined planes. The inclined planes meet at a point to form a sharp edge. It can be made of wood, metal, stone or plastic. A wedge is used for cutting or splitting. A wedge can also be used to keep things together. For example, stapler pins, nails, etc. Screw A carpenter uses screws to fix the cabinet on the wall. A screw is a simple machine which is made from a wound inclined plane. A screw allows movement of a nail into a hard substance that is wood or wall. It does not allow it to come back. We see this principle in the lids of bottle or jars, metal cap, on an electric bulb, etc. Compound machines Simple machines are combined to form compound machines. We use many different kinds of compound machines in our daily lives. For example, scissors. The blades of the scissors are wedges. However, the blades are combined with a lever, which helps the blades to work together to cut. Fascinating Facts It is believed that the Egyptians used simple machines to build the pyramids about thousands of years ago. They built inclined planes to raise heavy stones. Let's sum up. A machine is a tool that helps us to apply force in such a way that our task becomes easier. Simple machines have few or no moving parts to them. Simple machines help us to move objects closer, apart or raise them to different levels by increasing the force or changing the direction of the force. There are six simple machines devised by humans. Levers, wheel and axle, pulleys, inclined planes, screws and wedges. A lever is a rod which has three points, fulcrum, effort and load. The closer the object is to fulcrum, easier it is to move. Wheels are supported by the axle. An axle is a rod or pole centered in the wheel that allows the wheel to turn around it. The pulley is a version of a wheel and axle but the wheel has a groove in it. One end of an inclined plane is higher than the other end. A wedge is a simple machine made up of two inclined planes which meet to form a sharp edge. A wedge can also be used to keep things together. A screw is a simple machine 
which is made from a wound inclined plane.